Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to learn about the features of the 2021 Suzuki Jimny. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this video helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The Suzuki Jimny is a line of four-wheel drive off-road mini SUVs manufactured and marketed by Japanese automaker Suzuki since April 1970 and now in its fourth generation. This current generation was initially launched in 2018, two decades after the previous one went on sale in 1998. Hardcore off-roaders usually have a masculine name, Bronco, Defender, Renegade, to name a few. Suzuki, though, has a somewhat different name by christening their sturdy mini 4x4 Jimny, which is actually a good marketing effort in highlighting the funkiness and playfulness of the model. Don't be fooled by the cute retro styling as the Jimny packs some serious off-roading performance. The steel chassis is an old-school ladder frame, something often featured in conventional off-road vehicles. Front and rear axles are stiffened and fitted with separated differentials. To complete the full traditional raw, rugged all-terrain experience, the Jimny offers you a 5-speed manual as standard, accompanied by a low-range transfer box and a hill descend control system. Puddle hopping or slope climbing is effortless. In fact, the Jimny can deal with slopes with 38 degrees. You can opt for a four-speed auto box, but that will be sluggish and most buyers will probably stick to the full old-fashioned manual gearbox. Suzuki is a budget car manufacturer and the Jimny's pitch is that it's an affordable and dependable little off-roader, so it would be wrong to expect any luxury options or high-tech equipment but the Jimny does give you an infotainment touchscreen if you choose the top spec model. Though the cabin is mainly wrapped with plastic and cloth, Suzuki still manages to add in some cubism styling cues echoing the Jimny's boxy appearance. The dials, for instance, are housed in a pop-out square frame with exposed screw heads. The huge horizontal handlebar on the passenger side is also a trendy touch, mimicking the Mercedes G-Class and old Land Rover Defenders. The seats are comfy despite adjusted only manually. It is possible to seat four adults with plenty of headroom thanks to a flat roof line. There is also 13.3 cubic feet of trunk space for your camping gear, but you have to make the painful choice between your luggage or your friends as it is an either or situation when it comes to cargo or rear passengers. After all, the 2021 Suzuki Jimny is a small SUV measuring 137 inches in length, 64 inches in width, and 67.7 inches in height. On the other hand, the Fiat 500 is 3.5 inches longer than the Jimny. The Jimny is made for people who spend most of their earnings on mountaineering gear and waterproof jackets. Yet putting the nature-friendly hobbies aside, we still need to make real-world on-road trips. The Jimny's power is sourced from a 1.5-liter four-cylinder gas engine that makes 100 horsepower and 95 pound-feet of torque. Zero to 60 is possible, I'm just not sure how long it takes because I couldn't find that information. Remember the old-school off-road oriented drivetrain? The steering follows the same approach, packing a recirculating ball steering system. It's vague and slow because it's designed to prevent the wheel from chopping off your fingers when the front tires slip from a rock and change direction in a sudden moment. The Jimny then is targeting very specific segments. You either buy it as a cheap, rugged off-road tool if you're on a budget but need to make frequent cross-country trips, or else you'll acquire one of these as a toy, a role the Jimny is excelling in. Okay, let's jump into this features review of the 2021 Suzuki Jimny. Real quick before we get started, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related reviews. I've put links in the description below. During the intro, I mentioned vehicles like Bronco, Defender, and Renegade. Well... It just so happens that I've done build and price reviews of all three of those. I did the 2021 Ford Bronco Wild Track 4-door. I did the 2020 Land Rover Defender 110 First Edition. And I did the 2020 Jeep Renegade Latitude. So after you watch this video, make sure you check out one or two of those other videos as well. Okay, so let's jump into this features review and this is how it's going to work. Actually, Suzuki does not have any trim levels on this website. They don't show any prices. They don't show the countries of, of availability. I know that you can't get this vehicle in the U.S. I know that it's not available in the U.K. I think it was the last available in the U.K. in 2020. But I think it's still a very interesting vehicle. It's very unique. And so I still want to take a look at it. And so what we're going to do, looking up here at the top, 
We're going to take a look at the exterior features, the interior, performance, safety, heritage, and gallery, and we can actually check out some of the exterior colors as well. So we'll do that, learn about as much of this vehicle as we can, and just take it all in because it's kind of cool. So let's get started. So let's start with the exterior features for the 2021 Suzuki Jimny. They say that this vehicle is built to tackle the harshest weather and terrain, and it goes where other vehicles fear to tread. So let's check out some of these exterior features for the Jimny, starting with the LED headlamps with washer. So standard LED headlamps and standard headlamp washers. So that way, whether you use, you're in the mud, the dirt, or the snow, you can still see because, well, you can wash the headlights off. Next, they're talking about the optimized bumpers, and that's cool because, well, how are they optimized? Well, they've got angled bumper edges that increase clearance at the wheels for climbing over obstacles, molded black material that protects the body from uh, stone chips and scratches as well. Also, what's cool is that the roof features a drip rail, so that way you can have the windows down to a degree, depending on how hard it's raining, I suppose, and you don't have a bunch of water dripping in right on you. Here they talk about the heritage exterior design, and they say that many of the design elements were inherited from past generations, which really means they didn't really do many changes, and that's probably cool, I guess. Up here they show the first generation in the upper left here, then they show the second generation, how they keep some of the design cues. Down here we can see the front end of the current generation Suzuki Jimny, versus the second and third generation. And then over here, we can see the current generation uh, back end and tail light setup that still looks pretty similar to the second generation. They've just modernized the new one. So here's an interesting little tab that opens up a plethora of information for us. So yes, this is the 360 degree viewer, but it gives us so much more. So we can totally do a 360 exterior walk around of the 2021 Suzuki Jimny, but you can clearly see here that we can also see what trim levels there are. There's, I guess, a GA, a GL, and a GLX. So this is the GA. Here's the GL that looks only slightly different. I only saw the side mirror change a little bit. And then here's the GLX, which we can see is definitely the top model with the fancy wheels and all that. Okay, so now that we know all the trim levels, and there are three for the Suzuki Jimny, let's do our exterior walk around the roof is really cool we can clearly see the drip rails around the roof the exterior design is very nice this top tier glx looks very cool you've got the standard led headlights with a washer system you've got the uh, very unique bumpers that are all angled and very specific to uh, give you more performance when you're out there off-roading and that's really cool okay so now that we've done our 360 walk around of the exterior Let's take a look at the interior. Okay, here's the interior for the top tier GLX, and we can see that it's got a little infotainment system. There's your standard five-speed transmission. We know that you get cloth seats, and you know what? It's not a bad space in there, and yeah, I guess you're going to do either or depending on how much stuff you're going to pack with you to either have storage or friends in the back. There's your roof that looks nice. You've got plenty of grab handles on the roof. You've got some console up there on the on the headliner as well, some overhead dome light and all that. It looks pretty nice to me. Let's move on. Let's check out these exterior colors for the 2021 Suzuki Jimny. This color here is kinetic yellow with bluish black pearl three. This color here is brisk blue metallic, and it also has that bluish black pearl. And I'm, I'm assuming they mean that all along the fenders and, and the, the bottom of the doors and things like that and across the bumpers. And, and I guess that's what color they're calling it and also up on the roof. Then we have this chiffon ivory metallic that also has that bluish black pearl. Here we've got the jungle green, the bluish black pearl three all the way across the body now, which looks kind of cool. Medium gray, silky silver metallic, and white. They've got a lot of colors, surprisingly, for this Suzuki Jimny. Okay, let's talk about the wheels. And so we know that we're dealing with the top tier model here. And so we've got this 15 inch alloy wheel, but there's also a 15 inch steel wheel. And the steel wheels actually look kind of cool. I think the steel wheels look very nice. Okay, so they have some options and accessories here. Looks to be quite a few, actually. Uh, let's check these out. So there's the front bumper under garnish. And there we can see that right there. Uh, and then they have the side under garnish. Let's see what that looks like. Yep, that looks cool. 
And then they got the side body molding. You may want that. There's the side body molding. Then we got the mud flaps front in red. Looks very cool. That looks really cool. Uh, we got the mud flaps in, in the back there. And they say Jimny on them in the back. I like that. And then you can either choose to have them in black here if you wanted that. So we'll skip over that. I think that looks cool in red. And then they got a spare tire cover. And that's only, I guess, available for the GLX because they have GLX in parentheses. So if you're going to get the fancy version, and it does look like a little mini G-Wagon, doesn't it? Uh, which I did a build and price review of the G-Wagon as well. You can search my channel. Uh, then they have the multi-roof rack. Oh, this is cool, fully loaded. Uh, there's the roof basket instead. That looks hot. And then you've got the rain and wind deflector set. You got to get that to match the drip rails. Well, that was fun to go through that. Now, let's jump over here and learn about the interior features for the Jimny. So the first thing Suzuki talks about is their down-to-earth design. Yeah, it's simple. It's basic. They say relish the sheer pleasure of simple, straightforward, sens sensible design. Colors are minimal. Uh, every detail is thoughtful and attractively crafted to support serious off-roading. They say it there. I mean, that's what kind of vehicle this is. This vehicle is about off-roading, and I think for what it is, it's quite nice inside. And if you didn't even off-road this thing, it's actually a really nice car that you could keep quite nicely. Down below that, they talk about how the Jimny offers ample space and practical storage to accommodate every need, whether you're navigating the urban jungle or exploring off the beaten track. All right, let's find out about the performance features for the Suzuki Jimny. I think this little off-road SUV is pretty hardcore. They say it's got a robust ladder frame, three ample body angles, three-link rigid axle suspensions with coil springs, and four-wheel drive with low-range transfer gear. And we know it's got a 1.5-liter engine that surely makes an adequate 100 horsepower and 95 pound-feet of torque. So down here now, they're talking about the rigid ladder frame. And so they say that from the first generation, the Jimny has always featured a ladder frame. And that's the solid foundation for serious off-road performance. If you talk about an off-road performance vehicle, then they always have a ladder frame. Here they're talking about the three-link rigid axle suspension with coil springs. And what this does is give the Jimny superior grip on diverse surfaces. And then here they're showing the four-wheel drive with low-range transfer case. They call it All Grip Pro. Here they're going over that engine again, yet they give you no performance data. Luckily, I already told you, 100 horsepower, 95 pound-feet of torque. I don't know the fuel economy or consumption numbers on that, so we'll just, we'll just skip on it over that part. Down here, they talk about ample body angles and clearance. And so we can see they got a departure angle of 49 degrees. They got a ramp breakover angle of 28 degrees an approach angle of 37 degrees, and ground clearance of 210 millimeters. And so this is going to help you tackle steep slopes, sharp descents, and obstacles without scraping the bumpers or underbody of the Jimny. The 2021 Suzuki Jimny features brake LSD traction control. This feature is designed to automatically brake the slipping wheels and redistribute torque to the other wheel. You can also see here that they have hill hold control, and hill descent control. Obviously, you could see the benefits of both. Okay, let's find out about the safety features for the Suzuki Jimny. So the first thing they want to tell us about is DSBS, which looks to be some frontal collision prevention kind of thing, and they kind of tell us the three steps of how that system works. And then over to the right, we've got high beam assist, automatic high beam assist, to switch the highlights between high and low beams depending on the lighting, environment. Other notable safety features include weaving alert, lane departure warning, and traffic sign recognition. Here we can see the heritage of the Suzuki Jimny. They're showing us the first generation from 1970. Second generation started in 1981. And then the third generation started in 1998. Now we're on the fourth generation, which started in 2018. And here's some interesting information. While I can't tell you exactly where the brand new Jimny is sold, they do give us some interesting information. Worldwide, cumulative sales, 3 million units, 199 countries and regions as of July 2020. Okay, last but certainly not least, let's go over the gallery for the 2021 Jimny. They have some amazing pictures. So 
let's go through them real fast. The Jimny is actually pretty cool, and they've taken they've taken some great photos. The website loads nice and fast. I think it looks pretty cool with the steel wheels. Love that green paint. It's a nice little vehicle. Too bad we couldn't find any pricing on it, but that's going to vary so much because it's available in so many different countries, and so I wasn't even going to try to figure that out. The interior, like I said, I think for what this vehicle is, you're getting a lot. I think it looks pretty nice in here. Here's one out on the street, which looks like they pasted that picture onto that background. I mean, doesn't it look like they pasted that picture onto the background? It looks that way to me. Here's a shot with some camping, outdoorsy, mountaineering gear type stuff in the back. And there we go. So yeah, there's the 2021 Suzuki Jimny. A very cool and very unique SUV that's really hardcore. So on that note, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this information helpful, informative, or just entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe.